Now, hey, I have this speech I want you to look at. So tomorrow, I'm going to walk you next week. I need those editing eyes of yours that you would want. Martin, I don't want to mention this march on Washington to you. I don't think you should go. The racial harm is off. We've lost so many people for the cross. It's not a question of wanting to go or needing to go. I have to go. That's what the cause is about. Go, even when you don't feel like it. Willing your body forward when it wants to stand still. And when a person has to call them, they have to go. I agree with Mike. He has to go. This could be a giant leap for mankind. This is an indication a change is going to come. This speech is good, Mike. Real good. I mean, a few notes, but other than that, it's a fine speech. So I had a chance to read. Got my favorite singer. So my hair on your jacket is from Mark. She didn't even blink an eye. Said yes before the question was complete. I'm very happy to hear that, Mark. We're going to tell about another well. A big moment in American history. Well, I'm going to go work on this feature more before I go to bed. And remember, be careful what you say. You never know who you listen. <laughs> Not mine. Good night. Hello, I'm Zernona Clayton. And I hope you enjoyed the play. There's a powerful message in this play. It proves to us that the song we sing about America the Beautiful, it is beautiful. But you know, each of us can do a little more to make it more beautiful. We can do as Calvin Craig did, change either ourselves or change the people around us. Whenever there's a negative attitude, change it so that we can have this beautiful America. Calvin Craig made a great stand and so can you. So can all of us. And I'm delighted to be a part of this man's story. I'm delighted that I had a role to play in changing a negative attitude. Gail? I'm Gail Craig Mays. My father was Calvin Craig. I'm so happy to have Zernona as a friend and to really appreciate so deeply her relationship with my father. For so many years, they were able to really connect and you were able to see the good in him. And that really healed something very old and very deep for him. And I will always be grateful for you and for what you did. I remember something you said when we first met that has had such a deep impression on me. You said to me that what I did helped heal your father and cleanse your family. And I've heard those words so many times because they resonate so deeply into my emotions that I'm not gonna cry now, I assure you. I'm trying not to. But I'm so glad that we've come together because I think the two of us can help make this generational spread mm -hmm. and help do more for more people. Absolutely.